Our man, TJ Hooshman Zada. Hoosh. Hoosh, what's up, man? Man, I'm doing good, man. I ain't making no bets, though, so I'm doing good. I'm doing <laughs> I was going to say, man, Yasiel Puig, my God. I mean, yeah, man. God, man he got the terrible. bug, and people get the bug, and that's why Pete Rose ain't in the Hall of Fame, but that's another story. All right, man, Hoosh, man, we started. Vegas is Vegas. That's right. We started off talking about Vegas. Jeff Saturday beating Josh McDaniels. Um. Rob and I both look. We've seen coaches in basketball and baseball without any experience get jobs come right yep. in and get jobs, have success. We didn't think you could really do that successfully in the NFL. And granted, it's one game. Who knows? Jeff Saturday may go on. A, a, he might a major not win another game, right? right. You know, so right. We, we're not saying it's a fait accompli. But do uh, did we overestimate? I mean, it just. This makes it look like, you know, it may not quite be as difficult as we thought to coach in the NFL. Um, I don't want to belittle it, but what are your thoughts on this? Coaching matters in the NFL. And because I've had some coaches and I'm sitting here like, why is he my coach and I know more than him? Right. I believe but then that. you also have some coaches where you learn a ton of football from. And to me, I've always thought this. A head coach is more of a psychologist. If you can relate to people and you can talk to people and you treat everybody the same, but you really treat everybody differently because we're all our own person. The players, they're going to play for you. They, they don't, they're not going to want to disappoint you. And I hope Jeff Saturday succeeds so that the narrative will change. There's so many former players that want to coach. But, dude, we not going to be in there until 1 o'clock in the morning. I've walked in in the coach's <laughs> office. He has his feet kicked up on his desk, the clicker in his hand, and he sleep. The film watching him. Right. And these dudes are worn out. They don't know their wives. They don't know their kids because they spend all this unnecessary time. Let's get some coaches in there that, man, go see your family. Get out the office around 8 or 9 o'clock each night, and your job is done. And so I hope he succeeds so that, Pandora's box is now open, and it realized what you guys, huh, maybe well, TJ, we can go a different way about this. Right, because we see, look, there are, I mean, Ron Rivera, Frank Wright, Doug Peterson, like, a lot of guys, Dungy, were at former players. Right, but they put are, in But work. then they had to go, you know, through the same kind of channels as all the other guys who never played. Are you suggesting, like, if Saturday has success, do you think, you're you're talking about more so, hey, this dude just retired, but he was a great leader. Everybody knows he knew the game. He was smart. Uh, he would be able to step in right away. Is that what you're thinking more so? Player, whether you just retired or you were just like Ray Lewis was a known leader. Every, like, he just People going to gravitate towards him. Deion hmm. Sanders has been saying this Deion's for years. doing a great job, right. No, but no, he was saying this, Chris, for years. Like I'm not gonna start in the basement when I know more than I know more than the guy that's in the penthouse. Why are you gonna put me in the basement? I know more than the guy that's in the penthouse. Yeah, but then, but the flip side though is everybody's not gonna be successful. And when and if if Saturday fails, you gotta admit if he fails, then it then it will change other people's mind. You're right. If he has success, it could open a door, but it could also backfire and maybe Rob, not give other the people fact that he won this first game and hadn't been there all year, over a coach that's been bred and developed by Bill <laughs> Belichick. He won that game when all the odds were against him. Yeah, but I he, don't see but, any but way what, he can fail unless he doesn't win another one. But what did he, what what did he, he did do yesterday. What did he do that changed the, what the Colts did? And, and you looked yesterday. Well, he did start Matt Ryan. No, I'm just talking about but, what I'm saying. The like belief. But, it's the belief. It's the way he talked to him. It's the way he treated them like men. It's the way he approached them. I, I just, I, the I just, coach just I just play better football. I just they look at it as football. I look at it as, and I get it because I know uh, Lavar is on this bandwagon too, and I'm sure probably. Uh, ex, I mean, ex, I, I'm ex, not as much on the bandwagon like Lavar. Okay, Lavar, Lavar sound, but this is what this is my only argument. I want to get him on one day so we could talk to him. But this is my only argument. Is and Chris brought it up earlier. He skipped the line. Like there are people who are former players who have gone that route, who have put in the time. Even like a Rod Woodson has been a coach, and and those guys would want opportunities too. And the only reason he got it is not because 
And, and I'm going to say this. Not be, it's not because, uh, well, it, it was his playing career mm-hmm. and he was a leader or whatever. It's because somebody liked him. The guy who owns the team Rob, likes it's him. Not it's not what you know. It's who no, you know. No, I know, but, that, but that's not how guys have been hired in the NFL. Not at, at, at this extreme. Other guys have gotten jobs, don't get me wrong, but they've had some credentials. He has none. That's what, that's all I'm saying. And I, I get that part of the only thing that people oh like John Lynch, he went straight from TV to be a general manager, and it, oh he has a degree from Stanford. So oh. did so did Matt Millen, uh, who, had, up, who had no experience, and the Lions it, went zero and sixteen. But you can see where I'm going to go with where I'm about to say. Marcellus Wiley has a degree from Columbia. You see how that works. Marcellus Wiley has a degree from Columbia. Isn't that a little more prestigious than Stanford? Just a little bit. What you mean a little bit? Of course it is. It's and, Ivy and League, so, baby. <laughs> and, and so that's my point is it's not so much of who you or what you know. It's who you know. And I, I thought you see the Deion Sanders who has done a great job at Jackson State. He's been saying this for years. And there's other coaches. You can't just constantly do what. Jim Mercer has done and think it's going to work because it's not. You will fail and you will fail badly. But Jeff Saturday, whatever it is about him as a person, those players in that locker room believe in him. If they get drubbed twenty seven nothing next week, we'll have you back, and then you'll tell me that. Well, you know, you can't blame Jeff Saturday because the players they they just didn't play well. They won't lose that way because of. That game yesterday showed they were down in that game. They could have easily given up. And that showed me they won't lose 27-0, to not to a team that um, athletically they're on par with. and te- They won't talent-wise. They won't lose that way because that showed me yesterday the character that that team is going to have because they believe in him. Hey, hey, one more. We're running out of time. We, we could talk to you for an hour. Uh that Cowboys game and the Packers game, I mean, just just your take. Obviously, the Packers got up off the ground. That's a huge win. Uh, the Cowboys were 195-0 and in their history, leading by two touchdowns going into the fourth quarter. What did you make of that collapse? I don't understand. I thought the Cowboys season was over when Dak got hurt. If they play the way they play with Cooper Rush with Dak, they'll be fine. Like, run the ball a little more. Um. Yeah, because they. I mean, for them to throw forty six times run when the their run more. game was clicking, right? And they should have done what the Packers Aaron did. Aaron Rodgers threw the ball twenty times. Twenty right? times. That's hey, it. Aaron Rodgers is the. Why is, is he a game manager now? Yep. Right. I mean, that's, right. <laughs> if he was willing to do that, you can't. Dak Prescott. But he threw three be touchdowns. To do right. Right. But I get what you're saying. He only twenty passes. I thought, my God, they're not even letting them throw the ball. And because, because the Packers know they ran for over 200, as good as the Cowboys are on defense, they have the 29th ranked run defense. Right. They, they're, right. they're good against the pass and resting the passer. Yep. They can't stop the run. Great so point. All Green Bay did was say, oh, we had success running the ball when we played Buffalo. Well, let, let's do this the entire game. Yep. The Cowboys can't stop the run. Aaron Rodgers threw the ball 20 times. To- Aaron Rodgers <laughs> threw the ball 20 times. I know. Times. And, and I so tell you what, Cowboys, his, his his willingness to do that showed how much he wanted wanted to just win, but also beat McCarthy. No, that was a good that was a good game there. Because <laughs> right. McCarthy, it, it, you know, you know, they've all wanted that game. And but so, if, uh, if the Cowboys run the ball, just they say they throw the ball forty times. Now that's six more runs. The game may be different. But I totally agree. I, I thought McCarthy made the right call at the end of the game, going for it. He he's been a head coach. In Green Bay for years, he understands the win conditions of that. So right. I, that's one thing. And that, that I ain't do why agree they with. lost. Yeah, it was stuff they did. No, that's not that why they lost. They yeah, couldn't that, stop the run. Stuff. And, and the penalties. The ball. Penalties. The penalties killed that last drive. Cow- Cowboy you know? penalties all over. All right, the we got to run. We got to run. Men, but yeah. you got. They got to start putting uh, everybody that get a penalty. Uh, five hundred dollars in the pot, Rob that, G. That's what I, you got to start that. doing. Let, that. what you gotta right, Hoosh, we, let's get Hoosh we again. Run, yeah, we got to get him on again this week. We'll I get know you how on soon. Fox Radio, y'all keep right. up the great work. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. All right, buddy. All right, brother.